and you know, speaking of pedals, I've learned something because I recently, the past uh, month and a half, I bought two pedals. Hmm. And these pedals are, uh, these are handmade pedals, $130. And these are from a place that is actually just a block away from the pawn shop. It's a little place called the Music Patch, and one of the guys that works over there, him and his cousin, make these pedals. Um, I got the Nevermind Chorus pedal from them, and then they made made me a one for one in terms of the circuit of the Klon Centaur. So basically, I have a Klon Centaur. For those who don't know, go on Reverb. Reverb, look up Klon Centaur. These things are selling for six thousand dollars. Got this for a hundred and thirty dollars. Handmade. That's fascinating. Yeah. How did they identify the components that were buried in epoxy? Because people have gone and pulled the schematics from them because the uh with the KTR, which is also made by the same guy. And mm -hmm. it's the exact same pedal. He said it time and time it's, again. It's the exact same pedal, just no goop. Yeah, there were there are a couple of features, uh, uh, electronic components in there that were rather unique, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, um, yeah the germanium rare. diodes. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yep. And he was able to identify those and, and place them into his. Oh, how yep. cool. How cool is that now? Oh, yeah. Forgive me to running the conversation here, but yeah, how how are you satisfied with the uh, effect? I got to be honest with you, I, I, I feel so bad because I haven't. I, I got it. I okay, think I picked it up either that. Tuesday or Wednesday. That's cool. I haven't had a chance to mess with it yet. Okay, cool. So I have. Can't, can't wait this to one. Mm -hmm. And the thing I could tell you is that you know, and there's a reason why I'm mentioning these is because. With this, I was when you get a chorus pedal, mm -hmm. it's going to sound a specific way based upon the brand, and all of it deals with the rate and the and the depth and the lag. You know, it's all gonna deal with those. A lot of the time, those things are very limited, they're gonna get you into a very limited space. For a hundred and thirty dollars, I have every single chorus pedal basically ever made within this pedal because it has such a wide range within the dial the dials here i could take it back to you know about uh 11 o'clock and i'm getting that 80s chorus thing i go and i take it put it at about three o'clock and i'm all the way in like uh the weird uh territory of Nirvana and some of those weird effects that don't even sound like a chorus mm -hmm. sounds like something else out of, you know, like mm -hmm. the land of the lost or something like that. And so some of these pedals, the thing you want to always find, if you're looking at doing a wide range of stuff is seeing how much of a swoop that it has, because something like this, you say $130 is a lot for a pedal and it may be, but however, in order to get all the sounds within this, mm -hmm. I would be buying probably about four or five um, different $60 chorus pedals. And still might not end up with a full slee stack. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. That's cool. And one of the big things is to not worry about name brands. There are certain name brand chorus pedals that they have a history. They're going to sell really well. A lot of these things are just dealt with that swoop. They're also dealt with in the EQ. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, something like, like this, it's a very inexpensive pedal to make. But if you're looking for the little centaur on it with the bigger box, you know, and all that stuff, um, then, yeah, you know, you're paying extra just for the aesthetic. Yeah, maybe um, they should call there's the minotaur. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, I asked him. I said, "What is the name of this one? What are you guys calling this one?" He's like, "We don't have a name for it. It's just the Claw and Clone." <laughs> okay. Yeah. 
So, you know, that's one of the one of the things to do is to to find the best deals. Don't worry about the name that's on it. Yeah, I'm excited to hear your review on that next one there. Oh, <laughs> oh of the minutes. I gotta out. review both of these actually. <laughs> Oh, cool. I, I, I am so behind. I got to review those. I got to review those pickups that are within that uh, strat and all well, that he, stuff. If you didn't get such a great guitar, you would have been caught up, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, I'm telling you, I've I've been. Ugh, yeah. If I didn't stay so busy all mm. the time, yeah. I've been caught up. 